My name is Vinny Angitano, and this is my second sports med project called Magical Plyometrics. It's a strength and conditioning project for volleyball. My patient is Chloe Kearns. She's an outside hitter, so she'll have to jump multiple times in a row, whether it's to block a ball, spike a ball, or even serve a ball. She wants to increase her vertical jump height and inerrance because one, her height is important to get a good angle on a spike or to match the other the opponent's angle on a block. And her endurance is so if she has to jump multiple times in a row, she her height won't diminish so she can play at her best all the time. Using plyometrics, I can easily accomplish this task by improving her lower body strength and endurance. I started by testing her baseline, and I did that by having her jump 10 times in a row, three seconds apart. To The three seconds apart is to counteract her momentum. And 10 times in a row is to see, first I can see how high she's jumping and how much it diminishes over time. This is perfect for what I'm trying to fix slash improve. And then I started her program. And then I finally finished with the, res with the same tests for the results. But except the only difference was the first test was on a jump mat and the last test was on the wall with the yardsticks. Uh, I used plyometrics to accomplish this task of increasing increasing her height and endurance uh, because plyometrics train explosiveness and max power of an athlete because they train the stretch reflex of the type 2 muscles, also known as the high threshold motor units. And uh, they also establish a better connection from our nervous system to our muscles, which allows them to react faster. There's two types of plyometrics. Fast stretch shortening is type one, which is movements with very short ground contact time under a quarter of a second. And this allows um, the ability to get off the ground fast, which is good for maximum velocity because when you're sprinting, you want your foot to be on the ground for as little time as possible, but still while maintaining a lot of power. Type two is slow stretching, slow stretch shortening movements. And this is with longer ground to contact time, anywhere between a quarter and half a second. So it's not that long. It's still a very quick movement. It's just a little uh, longer than type one. And this is for large, larger joint excursion, which causes more active muscles to trigger, which is better for maximum power. Uh, plyometrics are get great for improving jump height and endurance because one, we get faster results, Two, they're quick and really easy to do. And three, you can almost do them anywhere, so she could do them at home. Plyometrics are perfect for jumping because they're training pretty much jumping exactly because most of the plyometric workout workouts are just jumping, <clears throat> just different ways of it. And um, the bad thing about weights is they don't show immediate improvement like in actions like jumping. They take time to build up to that. And plyometrics are perfect because in volleyball, you'll never know when you need to jump and plyometrics train reaction time, essentially, and how fast your muscles will trigger when you wanna jump. Here's my program. It included the pogo hops. This is a type one exercise. Squat jumps. This is a type two exercise. Uh, well, it won't play. Then we had lateral hops. This is kind of in between, I would say, because you can make it to where it's it's supposed to be a type two exercise because you want to maximum your power, your power, maximize your power between one leg and the other. However, you can do it as a type one, depending on what you want to train for. I wanted her to do a type two exercise. Uh, single leg hops are type two and jump rope is type one. Let's see if the squat jumps will work. Here we go. This is, a, again, a type two exercise. Here are the results. <clears throat> As you can see, immediately you can tell she jumped higher first, and she jumped higher for longer because before 
she was jumping pretty high and then it slowly got down around 2.3 inches lower than her original and now after she's even she's over her original so she definitely improved here here's her baseline she's jumping every three seconds and here's her results i measured this it was pretty hard to measure because i had to exactly see where she jumped to her head and i measured her baseline tests her her baseline height and then subtracted each other and got this Uh, the effects will clearly show in her game, I'm sure, because there's a clear increase in vertical height and endurance, and this will help my patient in the game a ton, because one, she can jump higher, getting more effective blocks, spikes, and serves, and two, she'll be more consistent with her blocks and spikes, allowing her to accomplish maximum jump height and uh, most effective spikes and blocks throughout the whole game. And this, is, this program is super effective because it can be easily done anywhere, anytime, and it doesn't take that long. And she can definitely continue this in her own home. And the best thing about plyometrics is, one of the best things about plyometrics is you can make the program harder or easier depending on how hard you want to train. Thank you.